why did they say you should never paint a concrete pool? Like, what's that supposed to mean? There's 500 different kinds of concrete pool paint that uh, you've seen available. So, like, clearly there's some people out there painting pools. What's the story here? And I just want to unpack this a little bit and help it make a little bit more sense. So, I think most of the time when concrete pools are built, they are built with a plaster or pebble or tile interior surface in mind. And it's not until you hit the, you know, the renovation and remediation market, you know, some years down the road that you start seeing a lot more paint. Like maybe there's some builders out there that are building a concrete pool, but then not doing a plaster or pebble or tile interior surface, maybe doing a paint right from the beginning. But I really think that would be in the vast minority. Um, most people with the skills to build you a concrete pool with like a tile band and all that, they have the skills to plaster or to put a different interior surface in there that would be of a substantially higher quality uh, than a, a paint interior surface, even though there is a lot of options for paint these days. So again, we'll unpack this a little bit. Yes, you can paint a concrete pool. You absolutely can. And there's a bunch of different options available to you if you want to do it. You know, there just needs to be like a star at the end of that sentence because what people are worried about is that if you were to take like a, a long service life, not like the next three to five years, but like 25 or so years, something like that, that what you're going to find is that the amount of times that you'd have to be repainting that pool plus some additional costs are actually gonna kind of add up to be a similar number, if not more, than if you had just gone with like that higher end interior surface, like a plaster or a pebble interior surface, tile's kind of a separate, We'll just leave that out of, the, out of the equation for now. So the logic here is, is that I don't think anyone would, would argue this statement when I say that plaster and pebble interior surfaces in a concrete pool are a more premier, more luxurious interior surface than even like a high build epoxy paint, which can give you like a pretty nice, smooth interior surface on the concrete pool. The epoxy paint, you can't argue, oh, it's more waterproof. Nope, get out of here with that business. That's not true. If you want a waterproof pool, you have to use a waterproofing system and they're pretty technical. And if you're gonna buy an extra $100,000 worth of tiles and tile the interior surface of your swimming pool, you would want an a waterproofing system on that interior surface that guarantees you're not gonna have any water permeating the shell and causing problems and making those tiles fall off because you invested so heavily in those tiles. That's a very technical subject that we could talk about unto itself, but I can tell you this, painting even with epoxy and a concrete pool will increase the water resistance of that concrete pool, but it does not make it a waterproof pool. That's, that's an important uh, differentiation. So the reason why that you don't want to necessarily, you know, paint your pool is because it's going to end up costing you the same as if you just did plaster and pebble over the long term. And you're like, well, I don't care about 25 years from now. Like, honestly, I care about three years. And if that's your answer, well, I mean, Okay, maybe you start finding arguments where you could say, no, you never paint concrete pools, except for some rare occasions. Like, you, you really just don't have the money right now. You appreciate that it would be better to do the other thing, but you don't have that money. You're gonna just take this kind of out here, spend a little less now and paint the pool. Yes, it gets you through the immediate situation, but you've gone down a path here from which there's a specific thing that needs to happen. Once you paint a pool, and this is chlorinated rubber, epoxy, anything like that, I think with acrylic water-based paints it might be different, but once you do any kind of like uh, epoxy or rubber-based paint in a concrete pool, you can never go back to the other thing again, tile, plaster, or pebble, without first sandblasting the interior surface of the pool. And it's not like that's the end of the world, doesn't ruin the pool or anything like that. It's just a big, messy, expensive step that you'd have to do if you decided you didn't like the paint. What if you painted the pool and it said on the can, last seven years, and three years in, 
when you just swipe your hand on the side, you're just getting cloudy, chalking water, and you, you determine that it's the paint itself that's failing. Maybe the paint was problematic, maybe your chemistry wasn't as good as it was supposed to be. There's a lot of different moving parts here that could be to blame, but would you still paint your pool if you had to do it twice as much as you thought that you were going to have to? Because again, it's not cheap. Like, it's cheaper, but it ain't cheap to paint a concrete pool. You're still spending a lot of money, and plus, you're draining a concrete pool. That's a risky thing to do. In general, you should be hiring a professional anytime you're draining a concrete pool, or at minimum, consulting with a local professional, because you don't want your pool to float out of the ground and break permanently. That would be a pretty terrible thing to have happen. The reason why you shouldn't paint your pool, it's, it's situationally dependent. Most of the time, it's a better investment for a more luxurious interior surface. They do a better job at cre increasing the water resistance. They do a better job at just feeling smooth and not allowing bacteria and organic debris places to, to hide. It looks nicer, like you have the Cadillac of swimming pools. Bar none, concrete pools are the best pools on the planet. And then you just, you know, use duct tape on the interior surface. Now, obviously, paint looks better than that. But, I mean, like, you've got the best pool out there. You don't see a lot of people self-painting their Lamborghinis with a roller, stuff like that. Like, maybe it's worth the money, especially knowing that it does return over the long run, at least according to most professionals, myself included. But there's a world of people out there, like, if you're a guy that's like, look, pool dude, Steve, give me a break. My kids want to go swimming. My, my, my wife is yelling at me like, I would paint it with my blood if it would get them off my back. Can I paint my stupid concrete pool? Yeah, you can paint it. You can probably paint it. It probably won't look as good. It probably won't last as long as you want, but it'll get you swimming. You're probably going to be buying yourself some more expensive work down the road if you ever want to come back from this process that you're doing. But if you didn't care about any of that stuff that I just said and you just heard the words that you can use it, then use it and it'll be fine. You can, in fact, paint concrete pools. Something that not a lot of concrete pool owners know when they go to paint a concrete pool is painting a concrete pool has a very high failure rate. You have to follow the instructions very, very carefully. And I'll give you an example. Epoxy paint is probably the most commonly used concrete pool paint. But epoxy pool paint, for the most part, has a requirement where the concrete shell needs to be bone dry. There can't be any water. And if you're thinking, well, great, yeah, I'll just, like, get rid of the water. Think about this. Like, this concrete pool is eight or nine feet deep in the ground. Do you have a, do you have a high water table in your area? You know, like at the beach, when you dig a hole, eventually you hit water. If, is it like that at your house if you dug nine feet down? Because the concrete shell itself could just be sitting in a pool of water, which saturates that concrete shell. And it makes it very difficult to achieve, achieve those bone dry conditions that some of those paints are looking for. If you try to apply those on a shell that's damp, like, I mean, it'll go on, you'll think you're doing pretty good, but it'll either delaminate and fill immediately into the water as you try to fill it up, or, you know, within one year's time, all those areas that were damp has failed because it just, it failed to bond on there and it was really just entirely delaminated and eventually from brushing and vacuuming, it all just kind of fell off. That happens a lot when you paint your own concrete pool. So, I mean, I'm not here to tell you do or don't do it. I just want to give you information so that you can make a better, more informed decision about this subject matter. But if you do paint your own pool, just bear in mind, you got to be really careful when you're doing it. Take your time and follow the directions carefully. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.